Hey man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go to PayPal at Dean by any means. There go to Cash App dollar sign Dean by any means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave three dollars, thirty dollars, three hundred dollars. It is much, much, much appreciated. Big fish going back hunting, y'all. Earl Spence, I mean, Fandora won last night. He beat Tim Zoo. We're going to talk about that later. But right now, I want to talk about the results of the fight. Earl Spence back hunting, y'all. And this was the perfect, Fandora winning was the perfect fight for Earl to not only regain his confidence, make a statement, and get a belt. Make Regain his confidence, make a statement, and get a belt. I love it. Took the fight away from Bud. Because Bud was sitting up there um, trying to get the, both of these fights. And his bad business has showed that Bud's karma has came back to bite him. Dean, what you mean by that? What I mean by that, y'all know I love Bud Crawford. That's my guy. I mean, he one of the best boxers we've seen in the last 20 to 30 years. Um, but both of the fights that he won is on the PBC. The problem is that he has left such a bad taste in the PBC mouth. He thinks that he's going about to be running this on one fight deals and doing, he thinks that he's going to run it the way he wants to do it. Not understanding that big bank take little bank, that he's not in a position to try to bully and do the things that he's doing, but just getting his recognition as the guy. But the problem is, is you're 36 years old. You on your way out the door. Now we seen Edis, Eddie, uh, Edris Landy Laura rewind the clock. But what I mean is you're still in not no position where it's like they don't have to do business with you. And the PBC and Amazon Prime will be perfectly fine. You want the big bags. You want the big money. You want the big fights. The problem with that is everybody that you want is on that side. So until Bud Crawford tucks his tail, till Bud Crawford be a man, go there, do good business, negotiate in good faith, and just put his pride to the side and just go ahead and make real business happen. Because like I said, all of these things could have been prevented. Bud could have had, could have had this fight. Absolutely he could have. But the problem is you give Al Heyman and them no incentive to want to make it for you. And you want the Canelo fight? Everybody you want to fight for the most part is on our side. Because all the young guns that you would want to fight, the Xander Zayas and them type of guys, they on top rank. So what you left to do, man? What's left there to do? Tim Zhu, Fondora, like all the people you would want to fight, they over here, my guy. And Earl Spence came right in like the big shark do and snatched that guppy right, guppy right out the water and took that fight. As he should. And I'm very happy that he's going to get that opportunity because if we be, I'm being honest, yeah, Crawford won. But if we're talking about statue of career and resumes and, and who's more deserving of actually getting that shot, it would be Earl Spence. Just, yeah, yeah, just because he lost. that Just because he lost to Crawford don't mean Crawford put in more work than he did. Actually, Earl did more things to make that Crawford fight happen than Crawford did. Earl put in too much hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. He definitely deserves whatever he, whatever is out there for him. And as we've seen the Fundora fight. So now it's looking like Earl Spence going to go up there. And most people think that Fundora should have lost that fight. If it wasn't for that big cut on Tim Zoo face, oh, my God. Like, he was just a bloody mess. He looked like the – you ever watched the, uh, WrestleMania when, when they put the fake blood on the wrestling team? That's what Tim Zoo looked like last night. Tim Zoo was looking like the Undertaker versus I forgot who the Undertaker was all bloodied up against, but that's who Tim Zoo is looking like. Okay, and um, uh, it's just funny how how things work out because most people didn't have Tim Zoo losing that fight. Now that he has, now it looks like Earl gonna have two big fights back to back. Because I'm pretty sure if he gets the Fedor fight, becomes champion, Tim Zoo is gonna want to fight him. So you get the Fandora fight, Tim Zhu, back to back. That's a good way to start off your off his year. And if Earl can do do both of them this year, or one of them, and then one at the top of next year, oh man. Because then it leaves the question, Terrence Crawford, what are you going to do, my guy? Who are you going to fight now? 
Where are you going? Where the big all y'all told me about all these big bags? The problem is the big bag that Terrence Crawford want is on the PBC side. That's the problem. Jermel Charlo, Earl Spence, Tim Zhu, Fondora, name them. They on that side of the street, man. And you gotta go make it happen. Jerron Ennis, whoever it is that he would decide to fight that we would like to see him fight. It's going to be on that side unless he go fight Connor Ben or something like that. And, and none of us truly wants to see that now, do we? This is what happens when you when you over negotiate, when you hard negotiate, where when you don't leave room to come back to the table because you want to continue to do business with these people. You don't want to push no promotional company aside unless you somebody like Tank or Canelo, whereas though, and even Canelo didn't do this, but somebody like Tank. Whereas, like, you're the money man. You're not going nowhere. If somebody wants to fight you, they have to come where you are, not vice versa. Bud is not in that position. He just thinks he is. He wants to be in that position. What you want and what actual reality is sometimes are two completely different things. And if you deal with women, you understand that they they <laughs> they don't quite get this neither, like Bud Crawford, okay? What you want and what you actually worth and can get are two different things. Because they know that you're probably going to win those fights. Ain't nobody doubting that you'll win those fights, but the thing is, why would I do that for you? What reason do I have to do anything for you? Why would I give you a one-fight deal to win a belt on our prom promotional program, then go somewhere else? Why would I let you do that? When I could just give Earl the fight. Why would I do that when I could just give Earl the fight? I could set up Earl Spence next three fights with just our guys at 154. Erickson, Lubin, people like, I don't, everybody you would want to fight is on that side of the street, bud. And there's no way you can accomplish your goals of going undisputed at 154 and not going through the PBC. All your big fights are over there. No matter who it is that us Bud fans actually want to see you fight, the, the reality of it is it's over there. So the big fish came in, man, and struck again, man. When we, as soon as we thought that he was quiet and sitting in the wings and, and wondering what's going on with Earl, well, it looks like Earl's going to be fighting for a title shot against um Fundora. That's what it looks like. That's the writing on the wall. It looked like that's going to be the next major fight at that division. And then maybe Tim Zhu will get the rematch now. Bud could, and then look at it now. Tim Zhu got a loss now. So even if Bud fight Tim Zhu now, he still would have to come over there because why would Tim Zhu, because all they got to do is tell Tim Zhu, look, you fought this year, you'll get the winner of Earl and uh, Fondor, especially if it's Earl Spence. Because that works out either way for Tim Zhu. Because Tim Zhu still want that Jamel fight. Tim Zhu do not have to fight Bud Crawford. He don't have to do it. He don't have to do it. There's plenty of people at 154, um, him and Erickson Lubin. There's plenty of people that Tim Zoo can take until until he get that Earl Smith fight, the winner of him and Fundor. This is why you got to do good business, y'all. This is why manager Marty tell you all the time, you got to have great representation. This is why you don't, you, you, you negotiate in good faith. You try your best not to leave bad taste in people mouth. Even when you negotiate it, Make sure that they understand where you're coming from with the negotiation. Don't be so outlandish that people walk away from the negotiating table. That's when people walk away from the negotiating table when you do outlandish things. They willing to stay there when you push in a little bit. When you push in the line a little bit, they push a little bit. You push a little bit. They push a little bit. You push a little bit more. They give in maybe a little bit more. There you go. Done. Done deal. But when all this hogwash and all of these, I ain't fighting him, I ain't fighting him, I ain't fighting him. Now it's look, even if you want to keep Thurman fight, but everywhere you go, it looks like you're going to have to go to PBC to get it. And I'm glad that Earl Spence put this monkey wrench in there because Earl actually deserves it. Earl literally deserves it. He put in too much work. Just because he lost, don't change all the work that he put in prior to that because he was the one unifying belts, not Bud Crawford. And if Bud don't want to come to the negotiating table and do proper business to actually get these fights, if he want to be on his high horse, then so be it. But he only got himself to blame when it don't work out the way that he actually wants it to work out. And that's just how life works, y'all. Unfortunately, that's how life works. 
So it looked like the big fish is back hunting, hunting. And if he get this, like I said, it'll be able to be a good, good thing to put his confidence back up. He can make a statement and win a belt. So that puts you right back in the race. That puts you right back there where your fan base, where us as Earl fans, we like that. That's a good fight. That's a good comeback fight. And that's for a belt. I mean, you can't really ask much more than that being an Earl Spence fan, especially with all of the stuff that we thought was going on with Bud Crawford. But going up to 154 and getting a title shot against somebody I think you can beat also, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot because if Earl go up there and win, now Earl has all the bargaining chips again. Earl is the one they got to come see. Earl will be right back in that position. And Earl can fight the and the um the Erickson Lubins, the Tim Zoos, the Fundors. He don't have to take the um well, he'll never fight Jermail, but he don't have to take the, those routes that everybody else is taking. He could still get his bag because he's still a star. He's still a bigger star than Bud, even now, unfortunately. So y'all know what this is, man. Ding, bye, any means, and I holler at y'all.